Okay, let's go ahead and range for like... That's looking good to me. Oh, oh my god, we didn't even range find that one. I love killing 906s. Welcome to the vehicle that was added to allow everyone to grind to the M1 Abrams. This thing sold like hotcakes and it really blew my mind of why. In my opinion, this is like the least interesting vehicle or premium you could ever purchase, at least medium to high tier. Just for an example, we'll go over to the Russian 7.7 and we can see a very interesting 7.7, that was weird, vehicle. Look at this long slong. Look how ridiculous this thing is. And then you look at this. I don't know. I would have never purchased this. If I was grinding for the M1 Abrams, I would have taken my M103, put a talisman on it, or take a little bit of RP nerf and play out the T114 and the T29 and T34. This one has two point or rewards two. This one has 1.9 times. So it is a lower reward, but these are just more, in my opinion, enjoyable to play. The MAG or the MAGACH, MAGACH, um, but we'll call it MAG for short. I don't feel like doing that stuff in my throat today. It's just lackluster. You have all these people who have been supporting your game for so long and you give them such a lame premium, in my opinion. Seriously. I mean, it's a good tank, especially at 7.7. .7, and that's where um, the only good thing you know, things I can find about this tank is that you get 7.7 .7 so many games compared to um, how it used to be. And I think that's mainly because the Abrams, correct me if I'm wrong, the Abrams 9.7 brings up the 8.7s and then the 9.0s bring up the 8.0s and then the 7.7s bring up the 6.7s. It's almost like this thing has quantitative matchmaking which makes it pretty enjoyable to use. But with that said, this tank is boring. It really, really is. Like, I would never pay $50 for this. Absolutely not. I would either go with a T29. Sure, you don't get as much reward or the T114 or put a talisman on the M103. Unless you wanted to collect this tank, which is fine. But to play and enjoy this tank, God, you are a different breed of person. Today, we're going to go take it out, put it through its paces, and um, see how we do. And a lot of my feelings about this tank comes from, well, me playing the M60s. Those are my least favorite MBTs in the game. And just... Jesus. Okay. Well, uh, it was a good attempt, guys. I, I was about to say, in just like clockwork... We're at 7.7, .7. uh, but we're going to have to deal with the 8.0s, which is still not bad. Well, there goes the whole defeat of the whole intro gone. Um, but we can still kill shit from the front, especially with this AOL. We can at least penetrate it from the front, especially against the Russians. Now, at Charlie, this is going to be a fun one. We're going to have IS-6s, 906s and the T-5462 all ramping up their efforts around here. Okay. And with that stated, we're going to have heat loaded up for our second shot. And just hopefully no no object 906 is right through here. I'm going to call artillery on this factory right there. Okay, good, good, good. This is a very risky position. Though, if our team backs me up... Oh, balonies. Okay, IS-6 confirmed. Ah, oh, it's too easy right now. This, 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 this isn't real life. T-54 in front. The enemy has multiple 
Good, he's out for a little bit. Two in front. Okay, two shot. Lower glacis. Good hit. He's down. Oh wait, wait, what did we hit? Oh, the IS6 is down. Okay, that 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 guy's still alive over there. Once he fires, we're gonna be all over him. We gotta be careful of his other buddy near him. I don't know if that took out his gunner or not, but I'm not going to hesitate to shoot. Okay, well, we're going to go back to APDS because heat's just like... Pfft. Now, what is this guy? It looks like a T-54. Oh, no, that's that guy. Oh, come on. I saw that round sneak in there. Now, he can't traverse, can he? Good hit. Now, we got to check the front here. He's still alive after a chieftain shot? Good. Oh, gosh. What is this? Okay. An, a, a, ugh, another mag. And I will hopefully be able to clean him out here. Yes! That's going to be our first kill. Three assists under our belt. That was a really nice teamwork by our team. Very good clean. Now, we're going to have to watch... I think we're getting flanked here. Oh, and we might have a 906 perching out of their spawn area. You see him? Well, I saw him over there. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We're getting ran, ran, ransacked right now. I'm going to focus right side. I could have saved my friendly right there. I could have saved him. I just rushed that shot. But he was in a jumbo, so he was kind of asking for it. Okay, we'll just relax here. Okay, that's going to be a... Huh. What makes that sound effect over here? Okay, the mag. The, the mag's gun, the 105. Hmm. There is a T-62 over this part. That has, like, destroyed the backside of our team. Aha. Okay, he's pushing towards our spawn. I'm gonna go hunt him out here. Come on. Push, 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 push. He should be right out in the open. Or maybe he's... Maybe this is a ruse. Maybe he's just waiting for us to push to get him. I heard him fire. Okay, there's one right here and one right there. Bless my heart. This is what happens when you go from playing stabilized tanks just to looking at something and actually have to relax and shoot. Attention to the map. Attention to the designated grid square. Okay, let's go for that turret. Now, nah, right here is actually a good shot. Right. Okay, good teamwork. Now we say it just like clockwork. Here is the matchmaking I was talking about. Hopefully next game we can demonstrate this as well. But if we're able to keep, you know, 8 out of 10 games, maybe even 7 out of 10 games with those three other being 8.0s, 7.7s. Yeah, this is this is a comfortable tank. Now, I'm comfortable with the way this tank, you know, drives and handles or just the speed and mobility. It's not the best, but it's still usable. I'm okay with the gun. I'm okay with the armor. The ammunition just makes me so unconfident with any 105 millimeter vehicles in game that don't have AP FSDS. Yikes, man. Okay, 
Oh, who is that? <laughs> yeah, you better stop not moving. Never can't stop. Okay, right through here. Oh man, that is that is a Nah, we don't worry about that. If anything, we would just damage his commander. <laughs> oh, fuck you. No! That guy was... That tank trap was hiding. That was a sneaky one. Okay, we got a uh, panther over here to our right. Okay, panthers repped in reperonis. They just captured Bravo. I'm going to see if I can get a shot on someone on this perch over by uh, Golf 7. And then we'll focus Bravo. Whoa. Okay. Uh, back of the turret, if possible. Yeah, we kind of missed, but he blew the fuck up. That was so strange. That guy literally just popped into my crosshairs. Right side high. Whoa, get my heat there now. Let's range find it. Ooh, nice 1,000 meter. Oh, that's so satisfying. That super bias is like, retreat. Oh, God, he's... Maybe that was an uh, AMX uh, 1390. I love, I love killing 906s and object 120s. I hope they never remove that mechanic from the game. Okay, now we might be able to re-engage Alpha. He's still there, 1,000-ish meters. Oh, okay. Yep, he just died. 1390 dead. And, um, interesting. There's a lot more players up right now. Oh, Jesus. H. What is wrong? You're, you're dead? How is he... How is he like that? Oh, my... Okay, game. Really? Now, did that Conqueror kill the other guy that he was shooting at? No, he didn't. He should get him now, right? I think his gun breaches out. It's probably a Coelian. There goes a... Whoa, that guy just skimmed the ground. Yeah, it's a Coelian. Okay, there we go. Not the most climatic ending. I was hoping to stay there for a longer portion of the game. But uh, packet loss ate our face. Okay, let's go ahead and range for like... That's looking good to me. Oh, oh, oh my god, we didn't even range find that one. I love killing 906s. Absolutely love it. You hit them anywhere with the heat round, they're dead. Okay, just clearing my left here. Clear my left downtown. The wyverns are here, and we're about to win again. But da -da 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 -da. okay, pushing up. Ooh, capturing C, fancy. Okay, there goes the IS six. In a one twenties back there. The other guy is, I think, over here. Keep it angled. Nice. Very hard to spot this guy. Okay, we, we hit him really hard right there.
I still, I, 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 I can't. Okay, there he, look at, he's hiding behind a, a chimney. We had shots from the left. Another ammo shot. <laughs> where did where did that shot even go? The it's not hitting anything. Oh my god, spare me. Always. Always. I don't care if this guy might have to jump on me now. Always engage a 906. He should be behind this house. Am, am I clear from the rear? I don't think I am. We're not capturing Bravo. Ooh. Ooh, risky, risky. Go for that back turret. Or right there. I'll take it. Good. He won't be a threat to our team. And there you go. Don't help you. Don't help your teammates out. Don't help your fucking teammates out. What a fucking shot. IS2, well done. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed today's video. My overall feeling of the mag at 7.7 .7 is that it's a good premium tank to grind. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I, don't think so. I think there's other alternatives that are more enjoyable and uh, will stimulate you more than playing this thing. Because if I were to try hard in this thing, I would camp far away, use my armor to deflect APHE from long ranges, and then sit back with the 400 millimeter pen heat and snipe. That's how I would play this thing. And uh, it's just not, it's, it's not stimulating. It's a sleeping MBT. And uh, I would much rather play something else. But overall, it's okay. Is it worth it? No, I would pass it. I would pass this. Guys, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Sleep well.